More multipliers in Last Epoch work the way that you would expect from other action RPGs, especially something like Path of Exile. More multipliers multiply your damage instead of just adding to an existing bucket of damage. You can have as much increased damage as you want, but as soon as you start adding more damage to your build, you get really big damage numbers really quickly. Now, a common complaint that we've had in the past about Last Epoch before the release of multiplayer is that we get too much damage or maybe a disproportionate amount of damage from the skills and from the mastery itself and just like clicking on the right buttons instead of the gear. You can get exalted gear, you can get base crit on your gear, you can get really big numbers on your gear, but at the end of the day, it's just increases. So it kind of feels like the defense of your gear matters more than the offense of your gear, at least when you're playing those high-end meta builds. But on March 9th, 2023, when the 0.9 multiplayer patch finally drops, there will be new and updated, unique, and set items that have more damage on them. That's right, more. Not increased, just exactly what you're looking for to get those really big damage numbers in your endgame build. Over the course of the past two weekends and the past two early access events for multiplayer, we've done a lot of farming on the multiplayer early access client, trying to find as many screenshots for these new and updated set and unique items as possible because we don't have patch notes. Those aren't publicly available yet, but we have got screenshots and this is public information so I can share with you. Let's take a look at six set and unique items. These are both new and updated unique items that are gonna add more damage into your build. Coming in at number one is 10% increased damage increased 10% more damage from Oshirian, which is surely how you pronounce this word. So Oshirian has been updated. The very last line of text here at the bottom says 1% more damage per stack of shock on the enemy. So remember shock has been updated, no longer 20 stacks. It has 10 stacks. So shock is not implicitly tied to lightning damage. Any build can apply shock. And with this ring, if you have one or two or three LP on it, this is going to be pretty much best in slot for your builds. It's going to add 10% more damage just to get those shock stacks stacked up. The second unique item here is really sneaky because I didn't realize that it got changed until someone else pointed it out to me. The Doom Axe that you get from Aerobus is still just about the same. The Doom Ring that you get from Aerobus is just about the same. But what about the Doom Belt? What about this one? 5% more melee damage per stack of Doom. Remember, Doom stacks up to four times, which is 20% more melee damage. This isn't more melee void damage or more melee physical damage. This is just more melee damage. Even if you're playing a lightning build, some kind of elemental build, fire, crit, warpath maybe, this is going to belong in all of your builds. Not only that, remember, stun is very, very hard to mitigate if not impossible to mitigate, unless you specifically have something that says immune to stun on it, this is a very good belt all of a sudden. The next unique item to talk about here is Plague Bearer's Staff. This is up to 20% more damage over time against enemies inflicted with the plague. And thankfully, this thing already has a 100% chance to inflict plague on hit against enemies. This item hasn't been used in a while, ever since poison's been nerfed a little bit, and there's been other options to use with poison instead. But uh, now that we have this, it's more interesting. I, I love seeing these more damage multipliers pop up on skills, but specifically on items, because then I can get them with LP on them too. Now, sometimes I call the Forgotten Knight set a two item set, making fun of the shield because the shield isn't Bastion of Honor and not being Bastion of Honor is really rough because Bastion of Honor is a very, very good shield. So in the past, you didn't really care about the three set bonus because the three set bonus wasn't particularly good and Bastion of Honor stood out as ridiculous layer of defense and it's very very strong still but in case bastion of honor ever gets nerfed or maybe you don't have one yet or you just want to have more damage in your build we've got options and i i like it i'm worried about bastion but i do like it so with the three set bonus down here if you have both the amulet i guess all the amulet the one-handed sword and the shield equipped you have two percent more void damage per stack of time rot Remember, Time Rot doesn't stack infinitely or anything. It only goes up to 12 stacks. So 12 times 2 is 24% more damage. So I guess you can ask yourself, is it worth using just a normal shield instead of a Bastion of Honor when you also get 24% more damage out of it? Maybe? It seems pretty good. The more multipliers are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This is the second biggest more multiplier that we have on a piece of gear but it's also an insane item. So Throne of Ambition is a two by two unique idol that you can farm by killing Argentus and the monoliths. This used to be 20% uh, increased armor and 20% increased damage. 
they've changed it. They've updated it. It's once again more, but the number is a little bit smaller. So it's 2% more fire damage, 2% more coal damage, and 2% more armor. And this stacks 20 times. So this is 20% more damage, sorry, 40% more damage, 40% more armor. What I think this means is unless you already have a ton of increased armor, I don't know if you're using this for the armor. Maybe you're using it for the armor explicitly if you're like a paladin and you're stacking a bunch of percent increased armor. That could be a thing. But what really stands out to me here is this has gone insane in terms of damage. 40% increased damage is good. It's noticeable. You're happy with it. But 40% more damage? This really makes me think about like the, the three elements, like lightning, fire, and cold, because lightning really stood out in the past as, first of all, your blessing really stood out because the other blessing that competed with lightning shred weren't particularly good. So if you're playing lightning build, it's kind of like getting one free blessing, but you also got shock and lightning shred. So you got like to double down on how much damage you were dealing. This makes me want to play fire and cold instead of a lightning build. So I'm giving up shock, but I'm getting the option of including this in my build if I want to keep farming for it and putting it in. The last item was 40% more damage, but this one is a pretty common drop. I've got a few of them with LP already. And this is uh, between 26 and 42% more fire damage to enemies inflicted with spreading flames. And of course, like the Plague Bearer stat before this, this also has a chance to inflict spreading flames on hit. So for any fire build, whether you're a melee build or a spell build or ignite build, this very, very low level one-handed scepter might just be best in slot for you if you can get it with one or two LP. If you're a spell build that's a scepter, you can get adaptive damage, or I guess you can get lightning damage on it. You can get spell damage and cast speed. If you're a melee build, maybe you want to get some flat damage on it as well. It's it's really really the fact is oh my it's so good it's got 42 percent more damage it's got increased fire damage over time in case you're doing night build it's even got movement speed this makes me want to play more path so tell me what you think are these the kind of items that you want to put in your build do you want to use set items that require all three sets and mean you can't use Bastion of Honor? Do you want to use unique items and farm them up, try to get LP on them in order to get more damage in your build? Or would you rather see more damage multipliers as a affix, maybe on Exalted gear instead? Do you like uniques having LP on them? Do you like having the set items have those more damage multipliers gated by using multiple set items? Let me know what you think and how you feel about these more damage multipliers being added to gear in the 0.9 patch. Of course, I couldn't have compiled this list of more damage multipliers without the help of people on Discord and on Twitch. So special thanks to everyone who's been hanging out over the past two weeks, helped me compile all of these images. Couldn't have done it without you. And like always, if you enjoy what I do here on YouTube or even on Twitch, be sure to leave a like, a subscribe, some kind of comment. Let YouTube know that we're doing a good job. And I will see you on March 9th when multiplayer finally comes. I can't wait.